All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. This is where all of the wonders of uh, the KB32 world are taking place. And uh, we're getting ready to do a bunch of reviews. This year coming up is going to be the year of the optic. I have about every single optic from Primary Arms that is available and out right now. So we're going to take the opportunity. And also for the gentleman who asked about the 6.5, the Apollo for a 6.5 Creedmoor, I do believe they still manufacture that scope. I don't have any reason to believe they don't. It might be out of stock, but I'm still pretty sure to do that. Also, I want to give a big shout out to uh, one of my airborne brothers who I think went through the Q course. And it's funny how these guys, they just can't stand the military. And all of a sudden you turn around and they're retired E8s unbelievable john b he was we were on a big chat the other evening and a bunch of our guys from um the army 30 years ago we got on a text message chat about 10 of us and we're going to plan a reunion and it's really really cool and he was like he goes is this john or is this coda boy 32 and i was like oh shit he goes i recognize my boy which is so funny because back in the day i was a skinny little fucker back then so anyway also a uh, big shout out to bj weed he just got out of the hospital uh man prayers and uh godspeed to you as well and there's another gentleman i just want to give a real shout out to uh as well hold on let me find his name uh shoot oh ray uh ray uh was a fan and i just want to say man i apologize i didn't get your message till <laughs> just recently uh but he had asked for a photo and uh ray is uh was been diagnosed with bone and prostate cancer uh so he's got a bucket list and uh, ray if you're still out there man please send me uh email me at codeboy32 gmail.com so that i can uh fulfill your uh your wants and needs man uh, anyway, got a special present for you. Okay. Uh, Happy New Year to everybody. So let's go ahead and get started on this thing. Uh, friend of mine, Ethan Manning, Manning and Sons. You've heard me mention him many times before. He has a little out of the home uh, uh, firearms dealership that he does. And uh, man, does, he deals in high end stuff. And what's going to happen here very shortly is uh, Prishker, the fat ass governor of Illinois, and those Democrats uh, in Chicago that run the whole state of Mar uh, not Maryland, Maryland's just as bad. Uh, Illinois uh, are going to sign in a uh, a law, HB five eight five five, a wide ranging gun control bill known as the Protect Illinois Community Act, are set to begin Monday at eleven a.m. among Illinois lawmakers who sit on the House Judiciary Committee. Okay, so this is pretty fucking sick. All right. Uh, I don't know if it's even been signed into law yet, but it, but the thing is, is we need to know what's going on in our states. We need to take control of what's going on in our states because the, there are people out there that want to destroy our rights out of ignorance, pure ignorance. And guys, that's what I'm talking about. They don't understand. You can tell me... Uh, I can't have my 30 round magazine anymore. Well, what am I supposed to do with all the other ones? I'm getting ready to tell you what they, they propose to do because it's pretty idiotic. And this comes to us by the way of the, uh, Illinois legislator. This is, uh, channel five in Chicago. Okay. Let's talk about this hearings. All right. Currently seven States have laws on the books that ban assault weapons in at least some capacity, including California, Connecticut, Hawaii, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York. And oh, why don't we want to be like those guys? shit states uh that shooting all right i'm not even talking about the shooting thing okay so people want to get they want to throw the heartfelt deal they want to do good okay but what ends up happening with the do-gooders is they end up causing more harm than they do good the bill covers a wide variety of topics but its notable features include an increase of the state's minimum age to purchase or own a weapon as well as a full ban on assault weapons extended magazines and other items here's a breakdown of the legislation which could go up to vote in a lame duck session in january okay so it hasn't been voted on granted it's going to go through unless you guys pound your uh your state legislature you got to do it man uh, take this opportunity, take control, let them know exactly what's going on. You've got some people out there. They don't vote for their constituents. They vote for the agenda of the party. All right. So there's, uh, I'm going to actually put the link down below right here, but they've got a full list of every damn what they consider assault weapons. Now is pretty, pretty disgusting. And I've got the bill that I printed out. The bill also makes it illegal to own purchase or possess a 50 caliber rifles and cartridges because you know, 
Oh, but there is a language in the bill that allows owners who currently have such weapons to keep them. Now, check this out. They're going to allow you to keep them. Now, who was it yesterday that said registration? Yeah, means confiscation. Individuals who already own weapons that fall under the assault weapons definition must register these guns with the Illinois State Police between 80 and 30, 300 days. Pardon me. After final passage of the bill, a $25 fee will also be assessed. Residents also many not purchase right, wait, residents also may not purchase or possess magazines that can hold more than 10 rounds. And the bill also bans the sale of purchases of switches that it can increase the what is it, switches? That's called a trigger. Uh increase the rate of a weapon's uh fire rate of fire. So anyway, Jerry Mitchell, stay your ass out of Illinois. Uh, yeah, raises the age of legal gun ownership from 18 to 21. There are no, so there are exceptions within the bill to possess weapons by individuals under the age of 21. Um, of course, all members of the military, if you're on duty, you can have a weapon. If you're in the guard, if you're a, uh, uh, what do you call those guys in prison guards? Uh, if you're a natural wildlife guy, you can have yours. Uh, all, the, all the government, everybody with the government thing, you can do it. Individuals under the age who wish to hunt must do so with the supervision of an adult. An adult must have a FOID card. <coughs> oh, Lord. And also pr allows prosecutors to seek the revocation of gun ownership from those who trigger red flag laws. And I just don't even want to get involved in that stupid shit right there. That's just beginning to get stupid. Anyway, it's interesting how these people don't start talking about uh, what the deal is. So what we're going to do real quickly, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to go to uh, one of the gun shop owners and tell you exactly what they think. Stand by. All right. So needless to say, there's a lot of people out there that are really not happy about this. I'm not either because it's catching on. It's one of those things that's just absolutely nuts. But what it's going to do is it's going to turn a lot of people who don't understand exactly what the change in the law is going to do as far as they're concerned. A magazine that holds 10 rounds or more. Well, basically, that's every magazine in the world. Uh, so you're carrying a gun, and all of a sudden, you've got to put little stops in your mags. I know this because I know what you have to do in uh, New Jersey to make your stuff legal. Next thing you know, they're going to tell you what kind of ammo you can carry. Uh, they're like New York. You can't wear soft body armor. So anyway, here's the biggest thing. you got to write these guys. you got to tell them that we don't want this. And if it starts coming to your state, mom's the man action now, that kind of thing, please tell them to go pound sand. So anyway, with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Ethan, I didn't forget about you, brother. It's just been real busy. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. KB32, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.